just left our hero Gary. He had raised a small army, 29 men, a few levels on these new Rodok tribesmen. So all we to where we have a few veterans. I think we're about ready to head over to the Nordic lands. Maybe over to the Vager lands, actually. Get down here around Rivichag. That's where the Sea Raiders like to hang out. All the way up and through here. And maybe we'll take on some Taiga bandits out here, too. In the tundra areas. So let's start working our way over there. That's a long hike. Make sure we have some food. We do. Uh, we probably need to pick up some on the way. Just cutting through here. We have 2,300 dinars. Maybe we'll find some companions out here too. One of these towns. Alright, what do we have here? Forest bandits. I have a prisoner of a farmer. I'm not too concerned about getting that. Grain's cheap. I'm sure my men are getting tired of eating just grain though. I'm going to keep them happy. Let's go over here to Quinn. Smoked fish. Um, I think we'll be fine for now. Let's just keep moving. We're not a member of a faction right now, so we don't have to worry about wars. take our time getting there. We have to have 200 honored anyway to well, to be accepted as a vassal. We could certainly be hired as a mercenary now, but there's no reason to do that since we can get our honor just by defeating bandits. Assuming we can find some. Oh, there we go. What's this? 16. Ooh, that's a bit of a fight for our first one. Well, let's give it a shot. Well, it looks like they're wanting some. Today the gods will decide your fate! Hopefully this was not a mistake. Alright, cavalry. Follow me. Sea Raiders. We'll catch them out in this open flat area. I'm gonna have the infantry hold there. Distraction. Just trying to make sure all my cavalry make it through. Do have one over there doing their own thing. people. Jeremus lost his horse. Get 
get some good loot from that. Rentus and Amira were wounded, but no casualties. That's nice. Don't want these guys. They tend to kill people. So we got eight Sea Raiders as prisoners. There's a nice helmet. Shield. So. Lots of people leveling. Okay, tribesmen, spearmen, train spearmen. Let's get Amira's strength up. The strength of six, she can't wear a lot of the armor. We have to get that up pretty quick. Don't think I need to worry about Weapon Master. I guess I'll give her a strainer, a strainer trainer right now, and then work on her one handed skill. And then we need to level as well. Let's see. Nothing too pressing. So we'll go ahead and go for the strength right now and just get that up to 12. Get that archery up. That'll come in handy later. And then we'll head back over here. I don't know if we can catch these guys. That's a there. nice head you have on your shoulders. Pretty fast, but he came right at us. Right now, the sea raiders are feeling their weedies wanting to come right at us. Okay. We have somebody running off doing their own thing. That would explain the last battle when they were. One of my canyon companions is still listed as infantry. Who is that? Bundit? Yep, Bundit. Okay. So we'll just have to have everybody attack at the same time. Nicer armors that the Nords will give out. And we got a better helmet even. So now a lot of our companions can have these nice Nordic helmets. More guys needing upgrade. We got our first sergeant. Sergeant is the ultimate goal there. They will knock all of the guys out instead of I will drink from your skull. really liking that these sea raiders just want to come right at us. Alright, we never did get Bundy back to just Calvary, so we'll have to use the same strategy again. Alright, where are these guys? A little bit off to the right. together that way we have a bit of an advantage right, let's see if I can run a little bit of 
distraction, so don't get too many guys killed by projectiles before we get going. Dick, what are you doing, bud? Just don't sit here in the middle of those guys. I'm really just trying to protect our guys from being swarmed and killed. out on the number of prisoners we can hold now. All right. Let's get over to our party screen, level them up, and start equipping our companions with some better gear. Another sergeant. All right. Jeremis is kind of the linchpin in our whole operation here. He needs to be as well protected as we can get him. I'm going to put points in trainer so we can help get our guys trained up. Get him some one-handed skill. And then let's give him some of the nicest equipment. Okay, 38 is the best helmet. I think I have anything better than 14 on legs. Nope, we don't. Alright, I think that's going to have to be it. Okay, I, I do have a regular Nordic shield. Can get rid of that battered one. Alright, we're going to quickly just run through the rest of our companions, upgrade their equipment. And Mira. Starts with all 20s, but she will be one of our best companions. You just wait. I've had her be the one who follows me into every castle and is the only one left standing of my companions, so... I do spend the time getting her outfitted. Finally get rid of that old tabard. Oh, I need to get a blunt weapon for you, bud. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and jump over to Bundik because I need to get him listed as Calvary. Alright, get you a better helmet. I think that's all I can do for upgrading my companions at the moment. Except probably this wooden shield is more than likely better than yep, the cracked one. Alright, make sure everybody has at least a somewhat decent helmet. Nice. There we go. Let's see if we can sell off these prisoners. Should be a decent chunk of change. Where are you? Kind of looking for any bandits that may have manhunters. Always two. Well, maybe not. Should be two. Let's look up here. Yeah. That was bad. Dang. Boy, it takes a beating. And that leveled us up. We'll do that in a minute. Let's go in here and lezzle it. Not the companion that will fit with the group that we have. I don't want my companions fighting. Okay, let's sell off some of this stuff. I think we can get rid of the older gear.
trying to keep two sets of everything. So two shields. Two chest pieces. I don't need those hats. These hats are better. weapons there I can't live without. The military pick would be the ideal weapon, not the military pick, the military hammer. Don't confuse the two. The military pick will kill your enemies. The military hammer, though, is a blunt weapon. Does 31 damage, one-handed. That's the, that's the one I would love to have for all of the companions. Don't see it at the moment. All right, nothing there I can't do without. All right, we still need to find somewhere to drop off these prisoners. Let's try Corral. Today the gods will decide your fate. Uh-oh. I ran into a fight. Not bad. There's just 14 of them. Calvary, follow me. these guys stay somewhat close together I'm okay with them just charging will be the distraction Spearmen getting kills, that's good. Okay, that's it. Four wounded, unfortunately, we were maxed out on prisoners. Grab some better armor, though. These will be better helmets than what. I currently have for my whoever my new companions will be. Slowly getting more sergeants. It's nice. Less talking, more raiding. Another one. I really do like that they're coming at me, but I wish I had more room. Take prisoners. direction so that my shield is in the way from these stray projectiles like you just saw there. Oh. Don't hurt my guys. I do need to level up, don't I? 
longbow, another shield. Okay, inventory's full. And we got one more group that wants to fight us. Let's see if they will catch us. I don't know if we can outrun them. We did. Not that I don't mind finding them, I just don't want to waste all those prisoners. So we'll take our last point of strength here. I guess we'll put it on power strike. Get that archery up. Head over to Karana. Hopefully we have a ransom broker here. Yes. He wants to tell me who he is. But I know who you are. Give me money. So we have 2,800 dinars. Going to sell these 15 Sea Raiders. And now we have 4,500 dinars. So you can see that's a fantastic way of making money. In fact, it's my primary source of income. Alright, let's sell these two leather caps replace them with these nice metal ones for our new companions actually going to get rid of this ragged leather both of those actually replace it with these nomad vests better than actually it might be better than what some of my companions are wearing I better look at that I have Nordic shields to put up here one thing I'm really missing is some good blunt weapons. I don't need a longbow at the moment. Okay. Reorganize this so my equipment that I'm just hanging on to is up front. Separate it by food from the equipment I'm going to sell. Okay. Don't see any military hammers over there. Nothing there I have to have. Okay, we'll check the tavern again real quick. Just looking for companions. Alright. I think we're ready to fight again. I'm going to just head over to Kudan and I want to find start actively looking for military hammers. Just trying to improve the weapons of my companions so that they level up faster. Do more damage. What's this? 20 Tundra Bandits. We'll take you on. No, we won't. You're running from me. Okay. We'll go to Kudan first. No companions. No military hammers. Okay. careful with the Tundra Bandits. Their projectiles do quite a punch. I'm going to have the infantry charge. Got hit with that projectile, but it did no damage. That was nice. The javelins have no effect on me. Brain a couple of these guys. And I missed you. Try to protect my companions a little bit so they don't get swarmed. These guys are trying to do. Oops. 
Don't go running away from me. Just tell everybody to charge and then go pick up the stragglers. This guy's running right into a rock. Okay, eight wounded. Our guys banged up again. My main concern is Jeremus, but companions don't like getting injured all the time either. But Jeremus is the one that'll keep everybody alive when they should have died. So he's the priority. All right, Ferentis. Let's get some of this text out of the way so we can see what we're getting you. Um, I think we'll work on trainer for right now. Help train our troops. And we'll get you some archery. Another Rodok sergeant. No ransom broker. Still moving at 5-7, even though we have eight prisoners. What do you have? Six manhunters. That is an absolute gold mine. We will definitely be taking you up on that offer. He's traveling pretty quick. catch him. Catch him, catch him, catch him. There we go. We'll just have the infantry charge. It's only 10. Still, I'd have to lose somebody just being careless. Fantastic for our cavalry. We'll hire you. We'll take all of you. I guess we'll head back over to Corral. Get rid of our prisoners. We leveled up again. That's nice. Slave driver. Over to Corral. Keep an eye on the bandits in case we run across any that have manhunters. That's absolutely what we want. Our troops that will knock out the enemy instead of killing them. Thus providing us with a steady stream of income. Good, our ransom broker is still here. That's actually a different one. It's okay. I still buy them just the same. So we have 4,800. And now we have 6,200.
debating on keeping some of those bows, but I don't think we're quite ready to equip our guys. 24, 23, what do you have? 26. We'll keep you. I think that's good. Find us some more Sea Raiders that want to play. I'm traveling now at 5 8. Oh, they just have a caravan guard. Farmers. find that Sea Raider base real quick. Run over here. Nope. Okay, maybe it's down here. It'll be right on the coast. There it is. something a little better. Sometimes you just wear out an area and you have to go somewhere else and come back. The Tundra base is a nice one to go to. guys for a little bit. 22. Like that even better. We'll have our pay. We'll have our fun. We're gonna have fun, all right. Having the infantry charge. As usual, taking the cavalry to the right, so my shield's on my left arm, protecting me. So I can get back and take out some of these archers. Just distract them. Go ahead and turn. You want some? Turn my cavalry loose. Terrible. Money. Okay. There we go. Twelve wounded. Nice. Loot wasn't all that great. It's okay. guys now. Getting a decent group of men together. We're in some brokers still here, that's nice. Got a couple things to sell. So this is a military pick or a heavy fighting pick. You don't want that. That's piercing weapon. We'll see the military hammer sooner or later. Okay, what's this? 14 bandits can't. 
can't tell what they have. Oh, peasant. 17 bandits. I do like that they're in the correct area. Where well, my ransom broker is. So it's going to be a short trip over there. Alright, cavalry. Follow me. Bandits. I do want our men to level up, although I think I have enough cavalry now. So probably take out the Tundra Bandits and out the rest of the men. Most of the men, they'll get some experience. And everybody charge in. Cavalry's now flanking. like having this courser turns on a dime. Eight more wounded. Didn't look like anybody leveled. Let's see though after. Yeah, let's see we did have somebody level. Another sergeant. Nice. Another thing I kind of like to do, I guess I can do it here, is get your enemy lined up and you have your decent amount of cavalry, you can send your cavalry off to the side like this. And you kind of run off and do your own thing, you can either stay with your infantry or whatever. That's why I don't like being on this side. My shield's not protecting me, and I just took two javelins or jareds. bandits. Anything over a hundred I'll keep just to sell. But like I said before, the real income here is not the equipment. Oh man. Our ransom broker's gone. So we got 200 dinars, you can see there in the middle, from selling this stuff. It's okay, but it's not like getting 2,000 when you sell your prisoners. So, I'm going to appear to rave it in real quick. You can look for new companions and see if they have a ransom broker. Another fight. Where's your friend? Your friend up here? Not a very good friend of him, just let him fight me all by himself. I think your friend ran off and hid. Let's see, is he over here? Yep. What kind of a friend are you? Alright, let's try 
try this again. Ransom broker, yay. So we were at 8,100, 8,200 almost. Now we're at 9,600. So that's, look at that, we almost have 10,000 dinars. Still no decent weapons. We'll head over this direction. Amira's leveled up. Okay, Amira. Get her up to a strength of eight. And her trainer. Get her one-handed weapon up. You know what? I need to do that again. I think what we'll do is get Weapon Master 1, because she'll peak at level 60. Not that I really expect her to get there anytime in the next level, but that way we don't forget about leveling that up and cap her leveling on her one-handed skill. Trained Spearman, Veteran Spearman. Okay, we're up to eight sergeants. Now let's head back over here. Speed up time a little bit. carry lances that will kill your troops. Let's let this guy get out of the forest. There we go. Alright, cavalry. Let's try this again. Have the cavalry come over here right. I know it's left up here, but since we're coming this way, it is the right. Have the infantry charge. start putting some points into power draw continue to pour points into archery I guess at this point we could carry a no man bow we do need to get some arrows but starting to look that direction now Some broker, yes. We had nine thousand. Now we have ten thousand one hundred. So we're at that point where we could start 
investing into a business. Normally when we try, the best place to do that would be Revacheg. But normally when I try to do that the first time, the lord of that city does not view me favorably. And so we have to go and press him. We'll probably have to do that today too. Let's go catch these Tundra Bandits. It's just too many in one group to really pass up. Get some more money and then get more head over the chat. It really depends on how much money we have at that point. We don't want to end up poor because we made the investment. But if we get comfortable with over 10,000 dinars, we have to get 2 or 3,000 over. In the investment. All right, now we've got them surrounded. left. Again, this is why I like having the courser instead of a heavy war horse. Get in here real quick. We should have a lot of prisoners. Yep, 18. That's more than we can even haul. Get our charisma up so we can start hauling 20. Go ahead and level up. I shouldn't have done that. Now we'll level up. Okay. Let's head over to Kudan real quick. Get rid of these prisoners. We may have to get a few more. 11,600, yeah. Another 500. I guess that puts us at 12,000. That's our party cost. 595. Alright, let's go ahead and do it. Let's go down to Rivichag and we're probably going to have to find the Lord. I think it's Mariga. Up on this. Got 17, 15, and 18. Let's start with the 18. hesitating yeah. I don't want my guys fighting in the river it really puts my cavalry at disadvantage I don't want get swarmed and killed so we'll back up let them cross and then we'll tell the infantry to charge cavalry over here serving as a distraction. The guys are starting to level up nicely. They're making quick work of these bandits now. There's seven. Uh, better weapons, that's nice. Get 
Where am I rusty? Maybe we can chase this guy all the way down to Rivacek. Take a walk around the streets. There's the guildmaster. And we want to buy land for a productive business. Yeah, so Mariga is not happy with us, so we need to find Mariga. Make him happy with us. So let's go to the castle. Talk to the lady, find out where Mariga is, and go visit him. There's Mariga. Beluga Castle. Okay. That's really close. Right over here. Marigan. Hopefully, I'll have a task for us. Um, well, here's the good and the bad. Yes, we have a task, but he wants to take out the Sea Raider base, which is where we're getting all of our income. <laughs> it's okay. We'll form another base. Sorry, guys. We have to destroy your base. up. I really don't want to be taking manhunters in this. And Clethy needs to be re-equipped. This is better. Of course she needs a helmet. Actually, I think the other one might be better. Yeah, this one's a little better. Her weapons are terrible. This one's a chipped one, right? Place that dagger. The other's throwing knives, which are fine. Give her a Nordic shield. Okay, she's a lot better equipped now. Let's take out the Sea Raider base. With probably everyone being a companion. First group of guys should be here on the left. There's guy down there at that ship as well. Should be guys over here by this campfire. That's not. Okay. I'll head over to the ship. Place Ferentis's weapon. Still wielding a sword. Have to fix that. We'll respawn Sea Raiders behind us at some point. Maybe not. This is a pretty early game. Let's 
see if they've finished spawning. Yeah, they're back over here again. It's a little bit annoying that you just pass a place and then you have to come right back to it. It's okay. It's still relatively quick. Unconscious. What are you guys running to? And Jeremus. Oh, Jeremus got taken out. Right. Certainly take all the goods because you do get face value with, for the goods. If they have any food. Out. Let's talk to Vigo. Quite a bit of experience for that too. You can see everybody leveled. Well, not everybody, but I leveled and three of the companions. And he should be fairly happy with me now. So we should be able to go in here, take a walk around the streets, visit the guildmaster. Happy to sell to us now. So, what we want to do is the Weaverine Dye Works. This is the one that costs the most money but makes you the most money. So, it's going to cost us 10,000 dinars and we'll make a thousand. That could be as high as 1,500. But right now it's a thousand. So, we'll, we'll do it. That did cost us 10,000. So we do need to be aware that we're a little bit broke. Sell off Clethy's stuff here. Sell off that. I guess we're not too broke. We still have 3,600 dinars. Alright. I think this is a good stopping point. Streaming for an hour. We've bought our first business. We've certainly equipped our characters quite a bit better than they were before. Got some uh, nice Nordic equipment. We do need to upgrade some of our weapons and start getting into maybe purchasing some bows as well. Getting pretty close to joining a faction, I think. Our renown is 175. So... Another 25 renown, and we could become a vassal. So, yeah, I think this is where we're going to stop for right now. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.